hi everyone in this video let us discuss two more attenuation uh, losses in the micro strip transmission lines so in the micro strip transmission line the first two losses uh, associated with this uh, micro strip transmission lines are attenuation due to metal conductivity and attenuation due to dielectric loss tangent these two factors we have discussed in the previous video and the third attenuation is nothing but attenuation due to dielectric conductivity attenuation due to dielectric conductivity attenuation due to dielectric conductivity actually we think that dielectric constant dielectric material which we have kept in, in between the two conductors should not conduct okay but if dielectric constant dielectric material conducts then what is the amount of loss associated with that that we are going to study in the concept of attenuation due to dielectric conductivity it is indicated by alpha g attenuation due to dielectric Connectivity it is indicated by alpha G. So while considering while considering the loss of a transmission line due to dielectric conductivity. Dielectric conductivity if the resistivity of the dielectric if the resistivity of the dielectric material is greater than 10,000 ohm centimeter it is negligible see when we are talking about this dielectric conductivity in this micro strip transmission line we should consider what is the resistivity of that micro strip transmission line how much greater or how much lesser when compared to the normal uh, conductivity of this material so nothing but if the dielectric material is having a resistivity that is greater than 10000 10000 ohms centimeter then we no need to consider such type of uh, parameter alpha g we no need to talk about this attenuation loss in that case when the resistivity is greater than 10000 ohm per centimeter ohm centimeter because that is almost negligible when the resistance is more resistivity is nothing but how the resistance and resistivity are related resistance is proportional to resistivity because r is equal to rho l by a okay if resistance if the resistivity is more the resistance is also more if the resistivity is 10000 uh, 10000 ohm centimeter then the resistance is also proportional to in that pair, in that range only so for that case uh, that resistance uh, the conductivity is very less conductivity as the resistance is more conductivity is very less so obviously attenuation due to that parameter is also becoming less okay so that's why we no need to worry about this parameter when the resistivity is greater than 10000 centimeter ohms okay so here we are going to write a generalized notation for this alpha g so here is the generic equation for this loss mechanism 
using or this loss mechanism using the g dash element here we are studying towards conductivity of the transmission line that is alpha g is equal to 8.686 into g dash into transmission line characteristic impedance by 2 decibel meter so what about g dash where g dash is the loss conductance of the transmission line the loss conductance of the transmission line okay now let us see the fourth attenuation loss that is attenuation due to attenuation due to radiation attenuation due to radiation whenever any transmission line works with the electromagnetic signal electromagnetic signal is more immune to radiation definitely radiation is a loss that is associated in any transmission lines which is dealing with respect to electromagnetic signal okay so it is not really an attenuation in the sense of the word that the energy goes up in heat so radiation is nothing but is in the form of heat suppose when we are using mobile phone also when we are talking continuously more than half an hour or 40 minutes definitely our phone gets heated even if it is any quality mobile that phone gets heated because of the radiation that means the radiation is dissipated in the form of heat okay so we can say that radiation is nothing but radiation dissipated in the form of heat <coughs> so it is the more leakage loss in nothing but uh, the heat can be we can call it as a leakage loss or some radiation loss okay so but the effect open your signal this effect open your signal is the same either way it losses energy okay that means suppose take your mobile itself again i am taking mobile because we are using mobile phones continuously we can understand if we are talking in terms of mobile phone so the when we are talking continuously what happens phone uh, the radiation is uh, released in the form of heat when phone gets heated then what happens the battery life goes down okay so that means we are losing some of the energy that is being stored inside the mobile phone so uh, the other way we can say it is nothing but is a loss in terms of energy so there is no way to account the account for the attenuation due to radiation using the transmission line model okay so this is nothing but attenuation uh, due to radiation so for Harry suppose if you are taking higher dielectric constant uh, that higher dielectric constant radiation loss decreases with increase in the value of characteristic impedance for higher dielectric uh, substrate radiation loss becomes significant okay that means this radiation factor is proportional to the dielectric constant okay for higher dielectric constant the radiation loss is somewhat significant the radiation loss radiation loss is inversely proportional to inversely proportional to dielectric constant dielectric 
constant. So for higher dielectric for higher dielectric constant substrates the radiation loss becomes significant the radiation loss becomes significant here how to increase the dielectric constant dielectric constant is a parameter that is coming up with respect to substrate okay it changes from substrate to substrate so we cannot uh, we cannot increase the dielectric constant what we need to do is we need to select the substrate in such a way that which is having highest dielectric constant that is the only thing we can do to reduce this attenuation due to radiation so these are the four parameters that are attenuated for attenuation losses that are existed in the microstrip transmission line now coming to the another parameter quality factor of this microstrip transmission line so quality factor of microstrip transmission line nothing but any type of uh, transmission line which is associated with a combination of uh, active and passive components like resistance capacitance and inductance uh, passive components that should uh, deal with this quality factor because what is the amount of energy stored inside the transmission line in the form of uh, a capacitance or inductance that decides the quality factor so many microwave integrated circuits require many microwave integrated circuits require very high quality resonant circuits very high quality resonant circuits the quality factor q of a microstrip line the quality factor q of microstrip line is very high is very high but it is limited but it is limited by the radiation losses whatever we have discussed in the previous case radiation losses of the substrate and the low dielectric constant see here under the low dielectric constant see the quality factor is generally high for any microstrip transmission line the quality factor is very high but when we are taking the radiation loss into consideration definitely the quality factor goes down okay see here what we have written radiation losses of the substrate and dielectric constant these two factors limits the quality factor of the microstrip transmission line okay that means if we are not choosing the substrate with the proper dielectric constant definitely it affects the quality factor of the microstrip transmission line so that's why we should choose the dielectric constant which is a very high dielectric constant then the losses associated with that substrate definitely goes down so that the quality factor again increases all these are interrelated parameters okay so the total quality factor q can be expressed as 1 by q is equal to 1 by qc plus 1 by qd plus 1 by qr so where qc is nothing but 
where QC is nothing but quality factor. I will write a Q quality factor corresponding to conductor quality factor corresponding to conductor and QD is nothing but quality factor corresponding to dielectric and QR is nothing but quality factor corresponding to radiation loss radiation loss okay so because the quality factor of this uh, particular microstrip transmission line is depending on these three factors what is the conductance of that material what is the dielectric material we are using in the microstrip transmission line and how much is the radiation loss that is having so all these three parameters are decide uh, decide um, all these three parameters decides the quality factor of the microstrip transmission line that's why okay, 1 by q is equal to 1 by qc plus 1 by qd plus 1 by qr okay uh, these three values are also given here the quality factor associated with this uh, conductor qc is 0 0.63 into height of that conductor into sigma into f whole power 1 by 2 and the qd nothing but dielectric constant quality factor that is 1 by tan delta okay so the unloaded quality factor of the micro strip transmission line is typically the quality factor q overall quality factor 1 by qc plus 1 by qd plus 1 by qr the overall quality factor of micro strip transmission line micro strip transmission line is typically typically in the order of in the order of 250 typically in the order of 250 this is about the quality factor of microstrip transmission line. Thank you.